Good morning. I'm Sarah Ziegler, Export Assistance Manager at Ohio Development Services Agency. On behalf of the state of Ohio, I would like to welcome you to the Ohio State House for this momentous signing of this Memorandum of Understanding on Economic Cooperation between the State of Ohio and Hungary. The bedrock of the MOU was placed over 25 years ago through the state partnership program between the Ohio National Guard and the Hungarian Defense Forces. We are now moving beyond military and building partnerships for mutual economic benefit. Momentarily, Ohio Development Services Agency, Director Lydia Mahalik, representing the State of Ohio, and His Excellency Peter Sierto, Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, representing Hungary, will sign the Memorandum of Understanding. After the signing, His Excellency and the Director will each address the audience. Director Mahalik and Minister Sierto, you have individual copies of the agreements in front of you in both English and Hungarian. If you would please sign your copies, then exchange the documents to fully execute the agreements. because of many uh, historic uh, reasons. We are two uh, freedom-loving uh, nations which uh, had to fight uh, for freedom throughout our uh, histories. We look at the family as a guarantee for a strong and bright uh, future. We look at the uh, cultural and religious heritage as something that uh, should be preserved. And uh, we are all patriotic nations putting security on very high on the agenda. But within the United States of America, we Hungarians really do feel a special relationship with the state of Ohio. Because the largest um, Hungarian community throughout the US lives here. We are very grateful for the state of Ohio to uh, serve as a second home for them. And uh, we are proud of the role these Hungarians uh, and their predecessors have played. Uh, in Ohio being a very successful country. Um, if I may recall a uh, personal experience of mine, when I was a high school kid, at that time the phenomenon of a phone directory, directory or a phone book uh, still existed. And uh, when I was on a school excursion to Cleveland, uh, I looked at this uh, phone directory looking for Hungarian names and uh, when I looked at the most commonly used Hungarian names, there were pages and pages. And even I have one of the uh, rarest Hungarian surname. I even found it uh, there. So this is a proof uh, that uh, that the Hungarian community has a significant um, uh, presence there. And of course, we have to build on the people-to-people -people contacts. We have to build on the contacts based on mutual trust uh, between uh, our uh, between your national guard and our uh, military forces. 
And we really do respect this wonderful achievement you have reached throughout the years. And, and to this uh, minister, I have to congratulate to you that uh, you uh, represent uh, the uh, number one uh, electric machinery performance of the United States in the state of Ohio, the number three of, um, of industry, and number four uh, in um, automotive, and number seven in GDP. So uh, you, you all must be proud of your Buckeye performance um, uh, in, in this um, uh, state. And I think this gives a perfect basis for the economic cooperation to be enhanced between your state uh, and our country. Because as I told you here, we represent a small economy, but a very open one, uh, in the success of which the American uh, uh, investors play an increasingly uh, important uh, uh, role. And as we, uh, we try to, um, we try to uh, provide them with the best investment uh, uh, circumstances of, of Europe, uh, continuously cutting the labor costs, continuously cutting uh, taxes, uh, we are really proud of the fact that we proved to be attractive enough uh, for 12 of the biggest Ohioan companies to, um, to carry out investments in our country, uh, hiring uh, more than uh, 2,600 people. And if I look at the Fortune 500 list, then uh, the four biggest, uh, the, the four of them uh, from Ohio are all represented uh, in our country. Now our aim with signing this cooperation is uh, to further foster this uh, relationship and um, turn around the decreasing trend of our trade. And uh, with this agreement, I think uh, we will be able, both of us, to put enough leverage and pressure uh, on our uh, services and authorities uh, to work in a more encouraged way uh, to further enhance this relationship. Minister, personally to you, uh, we are uh, very thankful and, and thankful and grateful that you, you uh, place uh, the cooperation with Hungary on such high on your agenda and uh, we wish you continued success and we respect the, uh, the performance you have shown um, uh, as a development minister uh, of Ohio and uh, we hope we will be able to carry out a successful cooperation with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ohio Development Services Agency is charged with supporting economic development in Ohio with a focus on growing jobs, assisting small businesses, cutting bureaucracy, providing exceptional customer service to our clients. Leading that effort for the state of Ohio is our director, Lydia Mahalik. Thank you very much. Well, good morning, uh, and thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, today. Uh, on behalf of the state of Ohio, Governor Mike DeWine, Lieutenant Governor John Husted, um, we are really, really excited about the opportunities that lie ahead in Ohio and Hungary. So much uh, has been uh, built so far on a long-standing uh, military relationship uh, that's over 25 years old, um, and it is definitely uh, a, an illustration of what could potentially happen uh, when we have cooperation uh, between wonderful places like Hungary uh, and the state of Ohio. Uh, Ohio, uh, as was mentioned, has a rich history of welcoming uh, Hungarian immigrants uh, from uh, in more than, excuse me, more than 200,000, uh, primarily in the Toledo and Cleveland region, uh, as you uh, have mentioned. And uh, both uh, Cleveland and Toledo have sister city relationships uh, with Hungarian uh, communities, uh, which is really exciting. And others have settled uh, throughout the state, um, and uh, we're happy about that. Uh, we have enjoyed, uh, from the state of Ohio, a long trade relationship um, uh, with Hungary. Uh, we, Ohio firms exported more than $101 million uh, worth of products to Hungary in 2018, and Hungary actually imported uh, to Ohio uh, more than $85 million uh, worth uh, of, of goods and, and services. And we certainly see the possibility of more economic uh, cooperation and partnership uh, because each partner brings uh, to the table unique business and economic strength uh, to, to the relationship. We can certainly share ideas on smart technology, which we discussed briefly uh, today. And both uh, countries are certainly engaged uh, in significant technological studies, uh, and we definitely uh, can learn uh, from one another. Uh, both Hungary and Ohio serve as logistical hubs uh, in our regions, and we can share the knowledges and best practices relative to economic development on that front. Uh, and certainly, the Ohio Development Services Agency 
uh, is here to help. Uh, we're here to help entrepreneurs start and grow uh, new businesses, and we can share uh, what we have learned uh, with our partners uh, with you. Uh, this is a tremendous opportunity for, uh, for both of our communities. Uh, we are grateful uh, for uh, the environment that you've provided for investment for our Ohio companies, uh, Too Hungry, and you can, uh, you can be uh, sure that Ohio will continue to be a place uh, where you uh, can find, your, your country can find a safe investment and a prosperous uh, future. And uh, I'm really looking forward uh, to getting to know you better, uh, but also uh, strengthening the ties and the relationship that, that has been uh, built upon by our partnership uh, with the Ohio National Guard. And uh, cheers to us both, and uh, much uh, more uh, success and prosperity uh, to both Hungary and the state of Ohio from this point forward. Thank you so much.